Well, hello, America. You surprised me there for a second. I will probably never write a book on parenting, you know, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But with four kids, there is one thing that I, I know pretty well, and that is no. I got saying no down. If you've got kids, you know exactly what I mean. Mom, I want Frosted Flakes because Michael Phelps eats them. No. Dad, I want a puppy. No. Mom, Dad said we could have a puppy. No, I didn't, honey. And it goes on and on and on. So here's the point tonight. If our leaders could govern more like parents than politicians, we might actually have gotten out of this financial crisis, or here's a better idea, we might not have ever gotten in. And here's how I got there. Let me play a little, you know, Dr. Phil scenario for a second. You got two kids. One of them is always acting out, throwing temper tantrums, demanding exotic pets. I want a cockatoo. What? And the other one is just a little angel. One day, you decide that the best way to stop your Satan child uh, from acting out uh, is to give him everything he wants. I want candy. Sure, a kitten. No problem. But meanwhile, even as you hand out all the stuff to the demon boy, you give your angel child squat. In fact, you take some of your angel child's candy and give it to Demon Boy. Well, what do you think's gonna happen? Will your devil boy stop asking for stuff and start acting like the angel? Or will your angel child turn into the devil because she realized, wait a minute, he's getting all my stuff. I mean, break the rules and you get good stuff, I'm in. The answer is obvious. But for some reason, ideas that work so well, you know, in our homes, laughed at when they're applied to Washington. Oh, and, uh, you, you people from the center of the country, oh, you're just so small thinkers, you know? There's hardly a person left now who doesn't believe that the government is soon going to take over Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, along with their $5.4 trillion in loans. But there's also hardly left a politician you know who, you know who, who thinks that, that that's not a good idea. Okay, so here's what you need to know tonight. I'm going to lose my mind today. I'm tired of being a sheep. We're going to transform into something. I am a clown. They all select their, their, their words first and then tie them all together into one word. Obama, the left, internationalists, graft, acorn, revolution and hidden agenda. O L I G A R H. I don't know if we're turning into an oligarchy or what we're turning into. Got to wake up. Barack Obama's making people faint and cry, and he's drawing people in. I don't want to have to live with security and walls. You think I want to live that way? Do you think I want to get on the air every night and tell you this stuff? I am tired of being a victim. I'm tired of being pushed around. You gotta, you gotta know you're not alone. You gotta know. You gotta you, you can unite. And here are the onion domes of Moscow, and they're very peaceful here. Oh, down here is uh, oh, looks like Karl Marx. I am a guy who just I I I, I just. I just want to have laughs and fun. So you have the hammer and the sickle, you have the, the artwork to Mussolini there, here in New York at Rockefeller Plaza. And in plain sight, plain sight, for all these years, during the height of the Cold War, hammer and sickle, and, and the fascist Mussolini carved there in Rockefeller Plaza. Then you have disease. Someone in my head, but it's not me. This is disease. Right above syphilis is uh, right here. Oh, Rockefeller. I will give you a plan. I will tell you exactly. When will we listen? I am willing to forego the cheap satisfaction of the radical pose for the deep satisfaction of the radical ends. It makes sense that you feel a little uneasy and everything seems to be a little hidden. It's not if you look. Are white people poisoning people of color? Yes or no?
I'm trying to show you the things that seem to be hidden, but they're not. They are out in plain sight. Those with eyes will not see and those with ears will not hear. You people don't care about the trillions. You're awake. You need to see the things that are hidden in plain sight. He might be the Antichrist. Odds that Barack Obama is the Antichrist. Get off my phone! Do you know who do you know who I am?